All right, buddy. So welcome back to the show. And what I want to do today is just go over a couple of different things, especially uh, how we need to do a bunch of different uh, uh, apparatus as far as Avogadro. So we're going to go over an overview and intro. We're going to talk about what's an Avogadro, and that'll be Jesse, the co-founder. We're going to talk about how do I buy an Avogadro. That's Haley, which is my assistant. And lastly, we'll take a look at what can I do with my Avogadro, plan of versus land management and lending. That's with uh, our man here, Dr. Wagme. And then lastly, we'll take a look at uh, the future of Avogadro. So first, let's do a little uh, intro. So Jesse is the founder, one of the co-founders of Avogadro. Jesse, thanks for coming back to the show. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here today. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> this ought to be a good one. And uh, Haley, she is my assistant. She helps me with all those different things. And if you got a response from me in uh, email, it's usually one of us, it's either me or Haley. So Haley, thanks for coming on and showing us uh, how this, how simple this could be. Of course, thank you. And Dr. Wagmi is, of course, the gentleman. This is what we're all here for, which was this great tweet that he put out, which he talked about, hey, I'm currently earning $800 a day playing Avogadro. Let's break it down. How Avogadro is the most profitable project in crypto right now. And I got to tell you guys, today it is June 13th, and we just saw the collapse of Luna a couple of weeks ago. We just are seeing the collapse of Celsius right now, and everything's in free fall. And Ghost Token is down a whopping 3%. So... As far as like how things are going, Avogadro is holding up pretty well. Dr. Wagmi, thanks for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. Very excited to be here. Perfect. Let's get into it. What the heck is an Avogadro? Jesse, this is, right. this is you. You've, this is like the third time you're on the show because I'm dense sometimes. I need uh, more information. So Jesse, what's an Avogadro? Give us a high level overview. Yeah, absolutely. So Avogadros are basically the premier crypto pet of the crypto space. Uh, these are innovative NFTs, they're avatars, they're, they're crypto pets, but they're also NFT piggy banks and that you can actually yeah. Um, yeah. on chain, you can, you can take value that exists somewhere else on a cryptocurrency and ERC 20, and you can stake those into your Avogadro. And this is really powerful because it does a number of things where you're able to gamify finance and all of these different activities stream through your avatar, which is this cute pixelated ghost called an Avogadro. And so whether you're staking Ave tokens into the ghost or whether you're earning tokens through gameplay in our Gachiverse or through some of the various leaderboard competitions we have called rarity farming, no matter how you're uh, accumulating these different Web3 assets, they're all coming home to your Avogadro. And um, that can exist in not just tokenized form, but also some really innovative uh, features around uh, creating a, a better crypto pet. So we've talked in the past about this idea of kinship. And so basically you're able to take an Avogadro and it's proof of attention to your mm -hmm. Avogadro. If you pet it, if you're changing its clothes, if you're equipping game items, when you do those things, those are on-chain transactions that are recognized by your Avogadro and its kinship score likewise uh, increases at that time. If, however, you are neglecting your Avogadro for more than 24 hours at a time, uh, that 24 hour period represents one point deduction of your kinship score. So there's all these cool on chain variables that are being monitored and dynamically changing depending on how you're, how often you're interacting with your Avogadro mm. um, and what kind of activities you're doing with your Avogadro. So our Gachi verse went live about two months ago, but in a very alpha form. And so the most recent up-to-date thing with Avogadro is people are actually taking their Avogadros and jumping into this virtual world, this play-to-earn environment, where they're able to collect various tokens called Alchemica, put them together in recipes, and craft even more rare NFTs that are used as decorations or, or for utility within the game. So you're actually building like farm equipment and um, various display cases for your NFTs. Uh, it really runs the gamut from like farming, uh, a Farmville type game experience, yeah. all the way to like social game experiences. And you're, you're, you're trying to draw traffic to your parcel uh, to promote something that you care about. So it's a very versatile platform. It's kind of a, a top down RPG uh, mm -hmm. that your Avogachis live in. And so your Avogachi is your best friend. You take care of it and it will take care of you. And that's whether you're running around in the Gachiverse or simply petting it in your wallet. Yeah, gotcha. So that was a generalized overview. And I got to tell you, when we did it, we did a video uh, not too long ago. Actually, it was, it was like six months ago, if you can believe that. And Jesse wow. was explaining the whole thing to me. And I was like, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. But as I've as I've gone through it and I've taken a look at other big big names as well as like Gensu Kishi, which I know you guys uh, have been talking back and forth, and we see how many different uh, uh, players. Uh, that are into gaming. I mean, look, esports is a billion dollar industry. And we take a look at like gaming as far as North America, not a huge, heavy, heavy amount, but, but globally, especially the Asian markets, we're talking over a billion people. So this would be the future. And this is why I get excited about this. And I think this is one of the reasons why we don't see a drop off the cliff like some other different crypto platforms. And it's an interesting, uh, interesting prospect. So Jesse, thanks so much for giving the overview. Yeah, absolutely. And I would just say, like, as as you mentioned, like Ghost, GHST, that our mm -hmm. token for the ecosystem, it's also the governance token. It's done really well. Part of that goes back to the bonding curve, which we've also talked about. Um, previous listeners may want to go check out that conversation as well. Uh, and we have our wiki, right? So wiki.avagachi has all the info on why our token has been outperforming Ethereum and Bitcoin so well the last six months. Yeah, perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the deep dive we did with Jesse in the description below and everything he just talked about, the wiki and the different information you can find will be in the description so you can re read it and find it and look it up. So perfect. That takes care of the first part. Let's jump into what everybody wants to know. How do I buy an Avogadro? How does this all look? So we already had a video where we took a look at how to install our MetaMask, how to get the uh, Polygon chain, how to actually get Polygon onto your, your wallet. Now let's meet the rubber meets the road Let's actually buy an Avogadro. I'm going to have Haley here, and we're going to walk her through how to actually buy an Avogadro. So, Haley, let me use, let's see here, da, da, da. your screen. So, everybody, this would be, Haley, this is your nice Polygon wallet. Very, very, very clean, two Matic, 600 ghosts. Bing, bang, boom, done. All right. So who wants to walk Haley through with how we need to actually buy this? Jesse or Dr. Wagme? Oh, I got dibs on this one. I, I am so excited for you, Haley, to uh, <laughs> get your very first gachi. This is a big deal. I'll be here with you. <laughs> yeah, Let's do it. There's 10 native assets in uh, Ivagachi, and this is my favorite. They're by far the cutest, and it's a ton Ooh. of fun. So that you already have the ghost. You already have Matic in your wallet, which means you are ready to do this. So you'll go to the bazaar here. And uh, this is uh, through the native Evagachi uh, UI. Uh, you click on the bazaar and it brings you to everything you can buy and shop for here. Mm -hmm. uh, towards the top, you can you know search by different uh, categories. You're already searching by lowest price. So these are the best deals available on the bazaar uh, right now. And mm -hmm. part of what's fun about Evagachi is the complexity. There's lots of different statistics that are randomly generated. Uh, it's a if you consider yourself a high energy, high brain person, you can find an Avogachi that uh, matches that. But it looks like we have a budget around like 600 ghosts. So we can scroll down. Let's find one uh, that looks good for you. So some of the fun things to look at, the rarity score, uh, the kinship, that's how well loved your Gachi was. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the XP and having high XP will have uh, a couple different uh, fun things like letting you be in more guilds and uh, participate in uh, bigger things in the ecosystem. But now when you're in the gachi burst, you can also build, say, you know, your more basic ghosts up to those levels too, right? Yep. Yeah. As you play, as you engage the ecosystem, as you vote in the DAO, you'll get more XP and you'll level it up. And as you pet, your kinship will go up too. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you level up enough, you get to kind of modify your uh, stats a little bit too. Right. So let's find you a fun one uh, or any calling out to you. That um, Let's see. We're, we're going to do this right. We'll, we'll do it based off the score, not how, how cute they are. <laughs> I don't know. There's no there's no wrong way to do it. Of course. Uh, that one, like those ones with the blue background are the haunt ones. They are the originals. Uh, and so in this space, that means something, right? To be one of the original gachis. They've been around a long time. Yeah. Uh, so that 500 kin there, for example, uh, is very well loved. 424 kinships and pet many times. Very low energy, though. Uh, so... Right. If, if you want a, a Zoomer gotcha, that might not be your one. But now, yeah, now unfortunately, I think we only got like 600 ghosts for this example. Look I at know. that back to work one. That's perfect. I would have gotten that one. Back <laughs> to work. That's awesome. He, he has a, a wearable on, uh, which is one of the other uh, assets. And uh, when you buy uh, these, mm -hmm. you get to buy the wearables that come with them too, which is really fun. So you can dress them up, uh, change what they're wearing, and that'll change what they do. Well, let's yeah. scroll up. Let, let's fi find one around that 600 range. Uh, yeah. 
And um, let's see here. I, I think, I think oh, this one's cute. Charles Hawkins, <laughs> yeah. Charles Hawkins. All you need is all you need is fifty more fifty more uh, uh, ghost tokens. Unfortunately, he only got six hundred. I know. I think Haley's wallet. a big spender here. She just keeps scrolling down. <laughs> well, the prices well, okay, are well, okay. Just to be sure, I got six eighty-two. Yeah. Right. All yeah. you do, I'm sorry, oh, six eighty-two. My fault. You got some space. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, hey, yeah. that so you can get whatever you want. Math around here, maybe. Okay. I kind of I kind of like this little guy with his little wizard hat. Okay, Charles. Charles. Well, the <laughs> downside to Charles there. Yeah. Uh, I won't get into all the downsides to Charles, but this Charles Hodgkinson uh, is uh, has low kinship and low XP. So I'm not going to let you get that one because we can okay. get, we can do better for your money. Scroll up a little bit. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, one that I'm really excited about for you is one of those hot ones, those cool or oh, yeah. yeah. So lens right there, super okay. cute. That's a retired collateral, meaning it's uni token that's staked. Uh, and I think that would be a, a really cool snag for you. Let's hey, do it. Hey, so 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 doc, so tell me about this this, this kinship. It's a pretty high kinship, right? Tell me what so, what does that what does that do for us? So kinship serves as a multiplier uh, when we channel our gachi. So you log in, uh, you go to land that either you own or the person that you borrowed it from owns. Okay, uh, and uh, then. You can interact with that daily and you get paid to do it. It's kind of like gotchi basic income. You log in every day, you get your reward. And the higher your kinship, the higher your multiplier on that reward. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Well, and then and then and then real quick, we saw a bunch of difference, and Jesse alluded to this in the beginning, those little icons in the center of the of the of the Avagachis. It was like there was like a Bitcoin, now we got a Uniswap and all these different things. Mm -hmm. So that is like like Jesse was talking about, uh, a wearable DeFi, right? So that is the actual uh, asset inside, right? It that is what is inside them, uh, and uh, you know as that grows uh, over time, I mean, these are Ave assets, so they're uh, you know growing in value uh, through that Ave ecosystem, which is really cool to integrate DeFi uh, through your NFT, and that's what's kind of fun about uh, some of these, whether you're a uh, Ethereum person or Polygon Matic person or Bitcoin, uh, you can kind of find one that speaks to you. Yeah. Is so everyone has a different strategy, but for me, I'm like checking out their rarity score. Yeah. Um, making sure like their XP isn't zero. So like that two rare eyes one to me is not very interesting because mm -hmm. it hasn't earned any XP. So you're mm -hmm. starting from zero there. So sure. that's kind of a disqualifier. But uh, you look at like silence. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think, Dr. Wagme? That's... I think that's a, a great gachi. I think so too. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Nice eyes. Polygon as a collateral theme. It's well Pretty loved. Good. Yeah. And this is just saying how many wearables are on it. And there's none. So you can just put a zero there because there's no items equipped. Okay. Yeah. And so just put in a zero. Uh -huh. This is kind of a, that, that prompt is to make sure you know exactly what you're buying. Oh, so it's like a double check, like, hey, you know, there's no wearables. We'll supposed to put this in. Like, I ex I accept this terms and conditions. Okay. Yes. And over in MetaMask, that uh, transaction will be waiting for you again, like it was previously. And you click on that, click confirm. And here in a couple polygon blocks, uh, you will have your very first gachi. Marvelous. And then for this one, like like we saw, it, it didn't take too long, but usually how long are we waiting for on Polygon? Because it seems like it's a pretty rapid, uh, successful transaction. It goes pretty quick. Like, what do you guys usually see? Absolutely. So I, I generally uh, am doing between 100 and 300 transactions a day. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, I do a lot of work on Polygon. Uh, and yeah. uh, less than 10 seconds is That's crazy. And then it just went through, just as we were talking. That's see that's that's how it should work. That's how blockchain should work. It shouldn't be like we have to wait 25 minutes and we have to you know pay these ridiculous fees. This is how this is the way to mass adoption. And that's why I think Maddox's going to do very well moving forward. Okay. So we got it. Now what's our next step? Anything else? Yeah. We have so, it. Well, I can uh yeah, go ahead, Jesse. Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say the next step is to view it in kind of the dashboard where you can really get to know your gachi. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would probably click on the Avagachi logo to go back to the homepage. And from there, you can kind of see all the different options that the, the current events happening in the Gachi verse and Avagachi, like 
currently we just finished a raffle. Uh, but it, you, what you, what you want to do is click on play. Okay. Right. You own an Avogachi. All your different assets are under the play button. Uh -huh. You may own portals. You may own uh, land or wearables such as, you know, be under my items. But we're going to go to my Avogachis. Okay. And you should have silence waiting for you there. Nice. And yes, now you can see you can click directly on the Avogachi to view all its details. Mm -hmm. um, all your traits. And there's the pet button if you want to pet your Avogachi. That is also an on-chain transaction, simply proving you are paying attention and, uh -huh. and giving affection to your Avogachi. Okay, and, and then we hit confirm just like normal. Correct. Uh, it, I, th I see a little blue button on your MetaMask, so you got to okay. manually go uh, do a MetaMask now. Got uh, it. There it is. Okay. So you're gonna uh, in okay. Interact with your Avogachi. So no wonder you guys put this on Polygon. There's no way you could have done this on Ethereum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we like to have a, at least a few transactions every day per gachi. So the petting is the big one. You can do that once every 12 hours, and that will boost your, your kinship score by one point every time you do that. Um, I'll, I'll hand it back to, to wag me here because this might be a good segue to some of the other stuff you can do uh, through community-built features and all of that. Absolutely. So so we have our gachi now, uh, and one of the – Fun things about uh, Evagachi is we have a live Gachiverse that has been mm -hmm. live uh, now. So you can actually go into this world and play with your Gachi. So what we can do is I can uh, share my screen for you guys. And, okay. And uh, I'll kind of walk you through what it looks like to uh, to play just a little bit. And, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, making $800 a day in Evagachi. And I can kind of just give you a glimpse of how that works here. So I'm logging in with one of my favorite Avogachis here, and I can choose uh, from all of my lands uh, to log into. That's a lot of land, Wagmi. I am very proud of them. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've been around the ecosystem for a long time, and I, I love my Gachis, but I think I love my lands just as much. And one of the fun things about the Gachiverse now is uh, we can uh, take care of our lands. Nice. Okay. So this is a fully playable uh little metaverse here right so i have my guy and this is my land and this is my installation on it so you can log in uh go okay. to your land and this is that channeling i was talking about uh where we can uh just interact with our own land and you get your gachi basic income uh where you uh get paid a couple dollars so you see that transaction went through and just like that uh in the last 30 seconds we made a couple bucks so okay, so so walk me so walk me through this again. So you you're there, you interact with your land. What are you getting paid essentially in? Which different tokens is it? Great question. Uh, so we're getting paid uh, in four different tokens, and, and they just scattered all around. Uh, while I'm talking to you, I can go look and see if we see any. So that token right there that you see on your screen, the green one, is a FUD token. That's one of the four uh, Alchemica tokens, and uh, those are. Alchemica are one of the native assets uh, in Avagachi, and we use those to build. Right. So uh, on my land, if I want to go build something, I can go into build mode here, uh, and I can see all the things I have that are building currently, these altar upgrades, uh, or I can put these cool, like a lava lamp I can put on, or a, a <laughs> small flower that I just won, I can put on my land. And uh, Alchemica is used as part of this process uh, to build and upgrade and grow uh, and really engage in a meaningful way with your NFTs. And I would just add each one of those items he's showing you is a 1155 NFT, that's standard. So you're literally stacking NFTs on top of NFTs. It's, it's so on chain in that way. And then yeah. you can take your four Alchemica and, and craft new NFTs with the crafting table. Got you. So then the, the more you build, the greater it is as far as the other assets that you're going to acquire as time moves on, it sounds like. Right or no? Co correct. And so the idea is you uh, build up your land, you build up your farm, uh, and you can farm out some more of those tokens and uh, expand or you can sell that and get another gachi or grow however you want to and what's meaningful for you in the ecosystem. And yeah. the goal for us is to have lots of play paths for lots of different people that have interests, whether it's farming your land or eventually doing fun quests and PVP, uh, you'll be able to choose what you want to do. Gotcha. And then as we, as we're going to move forward, there's going to be, there's going to be a couple of different types of people that are watching this video. There's going to be the numbers go up people. There's going to be the people who are interested in NFTs. There's going to be the people that are interested in gaming. 
So for everybody, just stick with us. There's going to be some more interesting things coming up. But for the people who are like numbers go up type of thing, you were talking to me, Wagmi, before about land management. Because when I look at this, I'm like, I am too busy. I know I'm not going to do this. I know for a fact I won't do this. However, land management could be one of those things where it's like, oh, I just give it to somebody else and they are the managers for my land, just like how I do in, like, in, in, in my real estate practice. So is that, so talk us through this real quick and give us a brief overview and we'll go into detail later. Absolutely. Uh, so one of the really cool things about Avogachi and what Pixelcraft did is there's an on-chain lending uh, smart contract where someone can borrow my NFT and go play with it. And they get to, hmm. I can choose what percentage of everything they collect and earn during that period that they get to keep and what goes to me. And so with my, uh, I have 170 gachis, And so I obviously can't log in and do that every day. Uh, so I have a group of people that uh, will like log in and uh, play the game and collect and do that channeling like I was showing you. Uh, and I think we can do that in a really safe way through the smart contracts. Uh, and because this is DeFi and a decentralized space, we can build on each other. Uh, we founded the Gachi Vault, which is a community-based project to do that asset management for you. Uh, so we'll find you the lenders and do the relisting and some of that really, uh, what feels like a lot of work, you just deposit it with us and we take care of the rest and you get passive income. Yeah, pretty good. And like we were talking about this before and I was saying, you know, for, for me, for my, my physical real estate, for Airbnb and, and Verbo, for property managers, it's 20% off the top. And I know you guys were talking about it's like 5% or lower. So I'm like, that's quite a steal, I must admit. So I will link this, uh, this, this link in the uh, description below for anybody who wants to check that out. But it's fascinating to me. This is what we've always been talking about as far as the metaverse and, and, uh, and digital assets, job creation and the future of where things are going. And this is where I, where I see it happening. And this is uh, fantastic. Okay, sorry, Wagmi, keep going. No, absolutely. So just for an example, you know, you go to uh, gachivault.com uh, where that NFT uh, management platform currently mm -hmm. just for Evagachi assets. And what I could do here is uh, here's all my, uh, my gachis and I could put one in the vault. Uh, and uh, if I put it in the vault there, uh, literally I'm done. Uh, and so the vault will do the rest where we uh, use big data to know what the mm -hmm. market's going at, what rate renters want, what percentage they want, uh, how long they're willing to play. Uh, and uh, we can claim it back from them and then relist it uh, for a new person to play. Uh, yeah, we do that for you. We're completing between 100 and 150,000 rentals a month uh, through uh, our platform. And uh, it, it's been so much fun to develop. And I couldn't agree more that uh, this kind of smart asset management is the future of NFT gaming. Yeah, it's interesting. That's for sure. So is this the part where, because this is, this is the tweet that led us to you, $800 per day. Is that part of it? Or is the other part of where you talked about in the beginning, like getting these four different tokens, uh, Alchemix and su such like that. Is it all part of that same ecosystem or is there something different? Sure, it's part of the same thing. So what we just saw earlier where we go in the game and we channel, uh, that's the primary earning mechanism currently, that okay. and then collecting the Alchemica. Yeah, yeah. And so I can have some of the other players or scholars or guild members from across the world log in, play my assets, uh, and then I get to keep a percentage of it. And that's yeah. how, so that's how you're generating that sweet $800 per day. Pretty good deal. Yeah. A little over half of it uh, is through that. And the rest is through, uh, it's a big ecosystem. Uh, and uh, we've done a lot with the uh, ghost token through the Gachi Vault also, uh, where we uh, manage the, your ghost tokens for you, not just your gachis. Uh, and yeah. what we can do is we can take loans out against uh, your ghost token and use DeFi strategies uh, to harvest yield and then pour that back into the DeFi token. Uh, so we've really gone deep into GameFi uh, and the DeFi aspects of uh, the entire Avagachi ecosystem to create multiple avenues of opportunity. And ha yeah. having that, those choices, I think are going to be what make Avagachi successful is you can engage in so many different ways. Perfect. Well, that's, uh, that's Jesse and the team making a great product and then rolling it out there so people can improve on it. Excellent. Yeah, I would just emphasize, like, that's my favorite part of Avogadro is we're an NFT gaming protocol. And yeah. that what that means is like what Dr. Wagme just shared there, the Gachi Vault had nothing to do with Pixelcraft. That was Dr. Wagme and a few of the other big brains in the community getting together and realizing there was a need for something and delivering a superior product that complements what we're doing at Pixelcraft. 
So it's really a, a perfect testament to how, you know, hands on and engaged um, the upper echelon of the Avogadro community is. Yeah, um, it's quite impressive. That's awesome. All right. So we went over a lot of stuff. Was is there anything, Doc? Before we before we go to the future, is there anything else you want to show us? I, I think that was enough. It's a lot. It's a deep it's ecosystem. A, it is a lot. And know that the community is so supportive and so engaged. It really is the friendliest place in crypto. And no matter what's going on from a macro perspective, uh, check Avagachi out. The community, which predominantly is on Discord, uh, would love to answer any questions or help you through every step of this process. Perfect. And then I'll put the official Discord group in the link in the description so people don't get scammed. And then we'll go from there, which will lead me to our last point. What's the future? I mean, this to, to me, this was the future. But I mean, what more do we have in store, Jesse? Yeah, well, I would agree. I think the asset management, NFT asset management is going to be a huge pillar of yeah. the DeFi economy all by itself. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited that one of the premier cases and models for how to do that in a useful way is coming out of the Avogadro ecosystem organically uh, with what Dr. Wagme has been working on. So because um, I think this didn't really get emphasized enough just now. It's not just the Alchemica tokens. They help you earn in the game. Uh, Dr. Wagme, you also help with kinship and XP, right? So it's like a full 360 kind of asset management for very various activities. So uh, if there's opportunities to increase your XP, your experience points and level up your Avogadro, uh depositing in the vault will also, uh, it, you know, that you'll also get benefits there. So that is part of the future. I think it's a huge part. Um, by the time this gets published, we'll probably have be very close to some exciting news about Avogachi.com and some major, major upgrades that um, are going to be to the UI and different features that are going to be integrated into the main DAP at Avogachi.com. So invite everyone to just check out Avogachi.com and be on the lookout for some, some big facelifts uh, here in the near future. We'll probably have some more announcements around the NFT NYC week, June 20 to 24. Uh, be on the lookout for some big news. Excellent. All right, guys, I think uh, 30 minutes is a lot of information. Uh, again, if you're a little confused, don't worry. I was too. I still am. Watch this video a couple of times. It'll make a lot of sense. Everything we talked about, links in the description. The video me and Jesse did, also link in the description, and we go from there. Anything else that I missed, or are we good to go, everybody? Well, I just want to know if Haley plans to put her Avogachi into the vault or she's going to, you know, handle it herself. As a single mother of one, I think I can do just fine with one for now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah sounds good. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Well, again, thanks so much for doing this. And uh, anybody has any questions, you can find the links in the description and go from there. Everybody, if you enjoyed the video today, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about are time sensitive, especially what's going on and things are rapidly progressing. But that's it for today. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.